How's work today? Like every other day. Food is not yet ready. N no, it'll be ready in a second. I was. Oh. I, I was just... Susan, it's Friday. You know I have to eat, take a nap before clubbing with the boys. Um. Darling, today was very hectic. I had to do the monthly shopping and then I had to do the laundry and then just get my food. Bro. I'm sorry. I make sure I provide everything we need as a family. You don't work. What's so difficult in being a housewife? <sighs> I told you today has been very hectic. It's not been easy with me. What is this? I need to clear this one. Mango juice. Mango is a seasonal fruit. I don't bloody care! Get this thing off my table. Now! Now! Morning. Was this moi moi made? Do I have to remind you that Ken Abba, the managing director of Hills Oil and Gas, does not eat stale food? Have I ever given you stale food before, Ken? When was this moi moi made if it's not stale? I woke up 4 a.m. I soaked the beans, I washed it, and then I made the moi moi 25 minutes ago. What am I having for lunch? A Ferrero and pounded yam. The Ferrero was made like five minutes ago. The pounded yam, I pounded it myself. And then there's your food punch made out of... Stop whining, madam wife. If you're no longer happy being my wife... Slave. Whatever. There are a thousand and one out there who want to be called Mrs. Abba. Dishes. I am not complaining. But I am. We need help. To cook for me? To take care of me? I'll do the cooking. To tidy up. 
Why do we have to go over this again just because I... Just because I am tired of being a slave in my own home. Just because I have lost my self-esteem. Just because I am no longer the woman I used to be. Look at me, look at my hair. I'm on a camp. We're never like this again before you... Don't family. bring my family into this. You know what? Let's go to bed. You're still my wife. And I still need to have a wash. And I can help with that in the bathroom. the kids. They've gone to bed. Look at the time. Oh. Kate. Ma? Did the kids eat? Yes, ma. Okay. Um, how about the homework? Done, ma. Good. What did Oga eat? Oh, no. Don't worry about me. Kate has taken good care of me. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So, honey, how was work today? Oh, hectic as always, baby. Coupled with this promotion thing. Oh. You know I'm due this month. Hmm? So I need to put in extra effort of work. <sighs> Baby, what can I do without you? Hmm? You're the most caring and understanding husband on planet Earth. Sweetie, I can't do anything contrary. That would be going against our vows, you know. Oh, that is why I love you, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am so tired. I just need a warm bath. Um, have you had a bath? I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Don't get any funny ideas. I am so tired. Come this. on. Don't worry, I'll make it up to you, baby. Okay. Um, Kate? Huh? Make sure the kids eat very well before they go to school. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Do we still have stew? Yes, ma'am. Oh, good. When they return from school, ball rice for them. Um, is there still soup in the fridge no more the soups are finished why didn't you tell me so if i didn't ask you you wouldn't no, but i've already made a list of all the things we need in the house i hope to go to the market tomorrow give Oga the list he'll give you money to go to the market is that okay remember sunday is your day off so i don't need to tell you that everything must be in place ma have i ever failed you good question so don't start now when Oga leaves make sure you tidy the room and empty the laundry basket yeah my end. Oh, honey. Sweetie, when you drop the kids off at school, remember to see Junior's teacher. Hmm? What about I, I don't know what it is, really. They sent me an SMS. You know what? Just see him. Okay? Oh, shoot. I have to be in the office at 6 30, baby. Oh. Sorry, baby. I love you. I love you. <laughs> All right. Bye. Hey. I will. Bye. Have a great day, baby. You too. Yes, my friend. Are you sure you're not going to come with me to the kitchen so that we can no, this together? No, I can't stand the heat, please. Well, wait till. You remind me of my house girl kids. Must you do this? If I don't, who will? I'm not completely. All I ask is for 
came to love and respect me. <laughs> it's just like Kate asking my husband to love and respect her. That's not possible. To him, you're his maid. Linda. Yeah. I love my family and I love my husband. Does he love you? I believe so. How? By enslaving you? Not letting you socialize? Look at you. Look at your hair. You're a beautiful woman by all standards. But you're fading by the second. You've given up on yourself already. Okay. Your father-in-law took your children to Paris. What stopped you from going with them? You should have at least gone with them to have some fun yourself. Who will take care of Ken? He doesn't eat out. He doesn't eat stale food, so stocking the fridge is totally out of it. We've never been apart for more than two weeks in our marriage. <laughs> My husband tried that. And of course it didn't work for him. They all do. Now he understands. And we follow my schedule. The only time I enter the kitchen is on Sundays for breakfast. And it's strictly bread and tea. After service on Sundays, I take my kids to their grandparents and pick them at night. I truly envy you. I wish I had all the love, peace and understanding you had in your home. Charles is an angel. Even when I don't feel up to it, he doesn't make a fuss or try to pick a fight. <laughs> it is life after life. I think I want to marry Charles over and over and over. You're truly in paradise. But are you sure he's not? I can swear with my life. His routine. He leaves the house every day at 7.45 a.m. Takes the kids to school. And resumes his office at 8 a.m. And you know he works in the ministry. So he closes from work at 3 p.m. Goes straight to pick the kids from school. And then home. So tell me. Where is the time? Are you sure he's always at home? What makes you think I still have a landline? <laughs> Wisdom, my dear. <laughs> Can't enjoy you. Please don't make me <laughs> cry. Sorry, just kidding. Just like Charles will be my husband in the next life, mm -hmm. you too will be my dear friend. <laughs> that means you're going to follow me to the castle tomorrow, right? Okay. Just for you. But I don't need no advisor for my home. I said counsel on that. Oh, whatever. Alright. Because mm -hmm. I need some of this food to take home. I beg. Mm, sure. Mm. Here. <laughs> what? So I should come to the kitchen? Mm -hmm. No problem. As long as this food follows me home, I will go to the kitchen. Now no that it's taken with you, definitely <laughs> come, right? You're welcome. Thank you. Let me call you back later, eh? Bye. I don't want to believe this, Ken. Your mind can go ahead and imagine whatever it wants to. I demand an explanation. Fine. Have a seat. But we'll have to put that in writing, girl.
whatever game you play. to be the best woman I can. But he just got lost. Have you tried to find out what the problem is? How else? How else? I love and respect my husband. I, I practically worship the ground that he walks on. Everything he wants, I give to him. Madam, you see, I told you that that is the problem. How can you be a robot, a zombie for a man? All the love and respect should come from him. After all, you left your family to be with him. Charles, my husband, understands that. I must say, you're very lucky. Now, let's help your friend. The first tool is communication. Talk to him heart to heart. Study his mood and know when to talk. Then you tell him how his actions make you feel. <laughs> I try, I try everything. It's alright. That's okay now. Your bragging is becoming unbearable. Honestly. Was I like this before your father owned oil blocks? Now let me take you down, Mary. No, 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 listen to me. My father has done us a world of good. The children go to the best school in town. Boarding school. Okay, yeah, fine. Go to the best cities in the world for vacation. Look at what we've achieved. Why are you such an ingrate, Susan? What more do you want? I want to be happy, Ken. I want to be called your wife in public, not stuck in the kitchen like a slave. Ken, I've lost my pride. I've lost myself. Then go find it. I will, Ken. Get ready. What did you say? By God, I will. You know, just... oh, no, don't touch me like that. Go. Like that again. Can you imagine me, a lawyer, in your kitchen? Yes, oh God, see my family who sent you abroad for your master's program. Where was your wretched family? My family is a close knit one that's got a lot dignity and in. hunger. What would your family have done if you didn't graduate? Your bloody washman of a father. I said, don't call my mother a washman again. Is that true? I'm cleaner. Fine. Try cleaner. So get ready to go meet your wretched family. Yes, you heard me. Since you're no longer happy, you're not happy with my family's progress. I will speak to my lawyer tomorrow. So I can give you the liberty to go find your beautiful world in your bloody memory lane. psychologist and I've been counseling married people for years I'd like to talk to both of you individually Mrs. Abba please excuse us Officially 10 years. Where did you meet? Oh, well, campus. I was in my third year when she came in. She So, what was the attraction? I can't remember. Mr. Abba, whatever we discuss stays between us. I promise. She was humble, homely, innocent, 
easy going. Maybe good looks. Any precautions then? No. Um, she actually moved in with me my final year. And I made sure she was transferred to Abuja for her, during her service year. And um, we went abroad together for our master's program and we've been together ever since. Again, I ask, what went wrong? Is she cheat on you? <laughs> no, I'm Susan. I was her first and last boyfriend. See, when I'm just she nags oh. a lot, and I hate it. So, what's the problem? What does she nag about? Everything, practically everything. Stop work and concentrate on domestic affairs. Is it too much for me to ask of my wife? See, I provide more than enough we need as a family. Was she not taking care of the home when she was working? It's not the same. So my father became minister. I got more oil blocks. Adam, I make enough money to take care of a community. And my father still pays allowances. Mr. Abba, people don't work just for the money. There's fulfillment you get when you know you're meeting a need somewhere. You meet people, feel relevant. Yeah, you just got it. She wants to socialize. So? Come on. I won't have it. You know how women are. They would have a negative influence on her. And most of the women who do these things rebel against their husbands. And considering my social and political status, I can't have it. It'll be embarrassing. Is she not well behaved? That's not it. Take this scenario, for instance. Meet Mr. Williams, the son of the Nigerian ambassador to the U.S. and his wife, the daughter of the Senate president, or Mr. Jonathan, the son of the governor, and his wife, the daughter of the minister. Then meet Kenneth Abba and his wife, daughter of who? A washman? Come on. My God, Mr. Abba, that's a very shallow way of thinking. I don't expect that from you. Do you still want this marriage? Not the way it is. What do you want? Happiness. I want a happy home. I want the man I fell in love with. I can't seem to find him. I've lost him. Arrogance and social strata. What do I tell my kids as a spouse? What? I need you to help me. I love my family. <laughs> Having listened to both of you, I'd like to give you time. Divorce is always the last option, if at all. So go and think. Mrs. Brown, this woman no longer wants to live with me. She wants to live in her memory lane. Let's not deny her that. Don't be sarcastic, Ken. There are three steps you need to take. Think, talk, and think again. Well, I'm all that is. I'm sorry. Please make the papers available. So when did you become Susan's fan? Oh, stop being insensitive! I'm not. It's just that the timing is wrong. Your father is running for governorship, remember? And scandal is what we don't need. Oh, oh, let's, let's not enslave this woman anymore. Let's allow her to go look for her freedom in her memory lane. But the timing is wrong. In a few months' time, your father will be running for the elections. And your father's coming home soon with the kids. 
Why can't it wait, Kenneth? Can't it wait? No, it can't wait. Tomorrow it is. My freedom, finally. You're not going to beg. Uh -uh. Susan, the scripture says, pride goes before a fall. And the same scripture says that God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Shut up! what you did to him. A pig will always be a pig. I warned you, didn't I? Oh, this is the thing you end up with? Wretched daughter of a wretched washerman. <laughs> Dry cleaner. I always insist. How dare you? Oh, I feel like squeezing the life out of you. No, 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 it's okay. It's going to come up. Susan, I dare you tomorrow. Sure thing. Under one condition. That you'll stay here and pretend to be married to my son until my husband wins the elections. Then you can go. Swear it. I said swear it! The good book says, let your yes be yes, and your no, no. So, as per your request? Yes. Uh, no, 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 Stay in this house. No way. It's all right. You are under no obligations. You can do as you wish, as if. She doesn't exist. Perfect. So, if you both will excuse me, I'll go straight into my office to prepare the last supper. As the Abu family. By tomorrow, the divorce will be true. And then, I shall leave as well. I won't exist. Whatever you say, whatever game you play, oh, take it down low, cause it's hurting me so, you're breaking my heart, oh no. For you. Madam, we have an unusual request. And Susan says you can do that. Although officially divorced, we want your client to remain in the house for a couple of months. Excuse me? Yes. My husband's political ambition will suffer hiccups if this goes public. Madam, your children have issues. And all you can think about is your husband's political ambition. My so-called children are no longer interested in the marriage. And all you can do for them is... Grant to... them freedom. <clears throat> I really am not comfortable with this. Ah, Mrs. Brown, please. This is the best time of my life. I am so very excited. I can't wait for this, to, you know, just... To, ah. <laughs> uh... Mrs. Brown, uh, can I have a word with you? Like, one-on-one, -on -one, please? Yeah. Um... Susan and Mrs. Anna, please excuse us. Okay. This 
something unusual about her. Your mother? Yes, I thought so too. I didn't expect Not her. Not my mother, my wife, Susan. How do you mean? I expected her to be depressed. You know, she's not lived without me for the past 10 years. You know, she, she, she loves, cares, I think she practically worships me. The Susan I know would not be in a hurry to give me up for anything in the world. Mrs. Brown, I think there's something. <laughs> Please help me talk to her. Forget my mother, this is my life. So you love her, is that it? Oh, this is not about love now. I mean, talk to her. Let me go and call her. Pride, indecision, let go, no, they want to be in charge all the time. If she had been depressed, he would have been happy. Please sit down, Susan. Thank you very much. Now talk to me. I must confess, I'm as confused as Ken is. Woman to woman, what are you up to? Absolutely nothing. I just want my husband back. I want to be happy. The documents, once you sign them, we'll be living on at the same roof, won't we? And Ken is a man I've known all my life. Practically over 10 years. I've lived with him for 16 years. And I do know that there's something wrong with this one. Something somewhere. And I want to tweak that thing and make my man come back home. That's all. Please give me this opportunity. So, madam, when are we coming back? Please sign the paper. Susan knows what she wants. She's very sure. Ken, what has come over you? Are you okay? Mm. Mrs. Brown, we do not have any set rules, do we? We just leave as normal. As normal flatmates. Shut up, you rat. Oh. Kenneth does not live in a flat. In case you don't know, that house is a mansion. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mrs. Brown, we get to live like normal mansion mates. <laughs> Please, just try and behave yourself. Susan is under no obligation to perform any conjugal duties to you. The same goes for you, Susan. No violence, no confrontations. That will be all for now. Thank you very much. For that. You're welcome. Yes. I hope you won't be changing to your maiden name. Me. Oh no, not until after my husband has been elected. Oh, I'll, I'll be married by then. Do. Man. Promised to bring the girl yesterday. Yes, indeed I did. I'm so sorry for the delay. Mm. Anyhow, tomorrow, please can get something from the fast food joint, or better still, get something from the fridge and microwave. Okay? Mom, we don't microwave food in this house. Everything is made fresh. Oh, oh. You mean that woman has been cooking fresh food for you every day of her life? Yes. Three times a day, Mom. Hmm. Anyhow, not to worry. Tomorrow, I'll see about the girl. And, um... Yeah. Well, tomorrow, okay? Yeah, fine. Bye. Yes. Yes. Yes, 
back. I'll see you outside in a second, okay? Alright. I'll be going out this evening. It doesn't look like I'm coming back. So, have a good evening. in this house since morning and I was told you didn't sleep at home. Having fun. Fun. I won't have you insult this family. This is not part of the rules. You seem to forget that I'm no longer a prisoner in this house. If you cannot take the hits, get out of the kitchen. No, it's not okay. Let me deal with this thing. How dare you? You left home yesterday at 6 p.m. and you returned today at 2 p.m. You say that's okay, it's fine. It's unacceptable. At least show some respect. To who? Anyways. I wanted to catch the last flight to Lagos. Lagos? Lagos? Yes, the city of excellence. Or, don't you know where that is? Okay, let me take permission from both of you. I will be traveling to Lemo Islands for a vacation for two weeks. And when I return, I will be resuming as the new international relations manager of a multinational company. Hello, honey. Oh, yes, I miss you. <laughs> yes, I'm home already. <laughs> yes. Uh-uh. No, not at all. Uh-uh. Yes, it was fun. Yes, darling. Yeah. All right, then. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, you've been amazing. Who else did I have gone to? <laughs> you've been my rock. I I'll call you back. Can't someone have peace in this house? How long has it been to them? Just a couple of weeks. And you're like this. See, I put it to you that you've been cheating on me. And last I remember, I'm not married to you. When I asked for the divorce, it was just in a bit to humble you. I expected you to beg to protect the family, the children you love so much. Love? Love? I've told them everything. What did you tell them? Kenneth, everything, and they understand. Are you taking that job? Who wouldn't? An official car, a driver, and an apartment in Maitama, and a one month vacation in any part of the world. Oh, yes, I'm taking that job. Now, excuse me. You amaze me, Susan. I amaze you. Kenneth, you're the one who has a woman in this house. So go back to her and concentrate. But if I smell her, this part of the house, if I smell her or see her, then you'll know that I am a mental case. So now go back to the other side and rock the right. Oh my, oh my God. 
Good morning, Mrs. Baker. Good morning, Susan. My name is Monica. Do not hesitate to call on me if you need anything. Excuse me. Unbelievable, my dear. <laughs> he has to fix this little kid off now. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. These kids of nowadays are so intelligent, eh? Well, tell me. See, he's just swimming, just swimming. He's a small boy. There's something else. I really love that. I really love that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Then you're laughing like they've known each other for ages. Mom, I'm afraid of this new Susan. Honestly. <laughs> Honey, please go. Alright. Make sure you don't miss anything. I'll be back for the gist. I mean it. Don't miss anything. I I'll be back like just now, okay? And my footwear. Why are you getting familiar with her? You're supposed to be a rival. And she refused to be. What do you want me to do? Anytime I pick up a fight with her, she makes me look stupid. That one doesn't love you. Shh. I should be the judge of that. Now listen. Before you leave tomorrow, make sure you leave a venom in her. Make her better. Now if you still want this relationship. Is that a threat, Ken? Are you threatening me or what? No, it's a guarantee. I've done it earlier, but I've got a 12 o'clock interview. So, um, please, can you just help me? Can what? Can what, Susan? Too bad you're starting, Ken. But for me, you wouldn't do that. We call it hospitality. Hospitality, Susan. <sighs> what would you like? Um, Akara, an oatmeal for breakfast, vegetable soup for lunch, lasagna for dinner. And fresh juice. Done. What of your interview? I called to cancel. Listen to me, Monica. I will try as humanely possible for you and I to remain friends just because you are going to be my children's stepmother. I understand, Susan. No, you do not understand me, Monica. You need this friendship a lot more than I do. And if you push me, if you push me, I will make sure that this man here, this man here, chooses between you and his kids. And you and I know exactly what his choice will be. Do not tempt me. Don't tempt me.
See what you're putting me through, Ken. This is too much for me. I no longer know this woman. I can't take this any longer. I can't take this. my husband. You even dare to bring it into my home. You even dare to try to break my home. And there I was thinking that maybe by mere chance he picked you up in the streets. Or perhaps his mother. No, Susan, shut up! Why are we forced to steal that mouth of yours for you? Oh, now, yes, I have finally seen the woman that supplies you with honey in your Susan! Room. I said shut up! Or I will pound you because I've been meaning to all this while. <sighs> Look at this an entity. Where do I even start from? Are you even a woman? Excuse me? You can't cook? You cannot keep a home? You don't even have Excuse my... Excuse me? I said shut up! Look who's talking. Daughter of a washman or a dry cleaner. See, my father is an honorable minister of petroleum... Stealing resources. And because your father's a thief, you expect me to run around like a headless chicken with appropriation and diversion of funds experts. Listen, Ken. I am not moved by big names. Men of integrity move me. And as for you, you cannot even make this man happy. And who are you to determine that? I am Susan. His lover for 16 years. His cook. His homemaker. His whore. And most of all, the mother of his kids. And I have known this man for such a long time. And I tell you, when he wakes up in the morning, he sings and he glows because he is sexually satisfied. And he hasn't done that in a really long time, has he? Ah, and look at me, look at me, look at me. I'm a mother of three kids. And you say this fat thing from me, so to is the thing you've got to be like competition. This is not competition, gang. It isn't. If this is it, you have failed. Listen to me, I give you 20 minutes. <laughs> If not, I will soak you, I will wash you, and I will dry you and iron you. And then I'll shut up! And then you will not know the way to the shuttle! 